Hello everyone, welcome to GSNRS solution. I hope you are doing well. Today we will learn how to calculate NDVA using uh, Google Earth Engine in a simple way. So, uh, what is NDVA? NDVA is a normalized difference vegetation index, uh, which is used to quantify vegetation greenness and is useful in understanding vegetation density and assessing uh, changes in plant health. So, uh, NDVA is calculated uh, as a ratio between the red, which is R, and near infrared, uh, which is NIR values. So, the equation is NIR minus R divided by NIR plus R. In uh, Landsat 8 or 9 NDVA uh, calculation, uh, the equation is band 5 minus band 4 divided by uh, band 5 plus band 4. In this video, we will use Landsat 9 for NDVA calculation. Uh, in NDVI uh, calculations, a value of uh, plus 1, I mean positive 1, indicates very healthy, dense and green vegetation, while a value of minus 1, uh, I mean negative 1, indicates on non-vegetated surfaces like water or snow. Uh, Positive NDVI values indicate the presence of vegetation and negative NDVI values indicate uh, the absence of vegetation. So let's get started to this tutorial. In code editor, go to new and then click file and rename the file uh, NDVI. Yes, my file has been created. So now I will go to assets for adding the shape file of my study area. Here you can see I have already added my study area uh, which is Bangladesh. So I just copy or you can directly import from here. So uh, how to add uh, shape file in code editor? Just go to my channel and then uh, go to playlist and mastering google earth engine tutorial so you will find here how to import shape file this tutorial very easy how to import shape file into uh, google earth engine so you can uh, follow this for how to import shape file in uh, google earth engine code editor anyway uh, Now, write Landsat 9. In this tutorial, we will use Landsat 9 for NDVI calculation. So, this one, TAR1 TO reflectance. And here you can see uh, this, uh, yes, this one, then copy. And I will call variable Landsat 9 and then paste here this function total image collection and i just write here as first step import landsat images and filter and then i will call a function of filter bounds and my area of interest study area so I'm renaming it AOI and then I will uh, write filter date as I have to uh, select date range I'm going to write uh, 2023 1st January uh, first day and to 2023 month 12 December and uh, 30 and then I will write dot filter metadata uh, for uh, selecting a uh, cloud coverage so i will keep it uh, less than 10 
cloud cover is for that i'm writing cloud cover is cloud cover and then less than yes less than 10 and after that i will call function mean and then uh, i will clip according to my uh, study area area of interest that i have already uh, added and the next step i will calculate ndvi so for that i will call variable nir and your infrared and then land set 9 variable this one dot select nir band is uh, band 5 so i have added band 5 and then i'll call variable rate and again land set 9 and dot function select uh, band 4 for red and then i will call variable ndvi and the equation is nir dot subtract first bracket then red dot function uh, divide first bracket then nir near infrared dot uh, add first bracket red uh, dot rename i will rename it as ndvi image Uh, divide di divi divide okay and i will call variable param for uh, visualization in dbi and i will write second bracket uh, minimum negative one which is uh, absence of vegetation and maximum positive one which is vegetation and uh, palette third bracket and then first bracket yellow and then I will write green and then I will write uh, red for color palette and uh, then display the result. So I will call a variable a function map dot add layer first bracket and uh, NDVI NDVI para yes this one and then NDVI NDVI image and map dot center object this is a function and my study area and 10 and then run uh, maybe there is uh, something missing or yeah filter metadata so here yes 
there will be a uh, yes a first bracket and then this uh, one so now i think it's okay then again run yes now it's okay yeah this is our uh, ndvi result you can see here vegetation coverage and uh, non vegetated area now uh, we will export this result in uh, google drive export and save the result so here is the function export dot image dot uh, to drive then image ndvi it's capital letter ndvi and then description ndvi and scale 30 go to task and then uh, click run then you will find this interface name a task scale 30 re resolution and then file name and geotiff and then click run maybe something wrong uh, yes uh, the uh, export too large the image uh, size is too large so for this you have to write another uh, function here if your image is uh, uh, if your uh, image is large so for larger image just write uh, max pixels and and 1 e 13 and then uh, click run and now it is okay i think uh, maybe there will be a comma after uh, ai yes then click run yes this is downloading after uh, yeah after uh, clicking here run and click run yes this is downloading very easy process uh, after downloading the image you can classify the ndvi using arcmap anyway i will share the code in the description section so you can practice i hope uh, you find it useful also you can check out my other videos on google earth engine uh, which are easy to follow demonstrations and are very helpful i think uh thank you very much for uh, watching and see you in the next video until then stay safe and healthy